track this year. We hope that you're really excited too. When Hank started this conference in 2010, our YouTube channel, Vlog Brothers, had about 310,000 subscribers and had had in total about 78 million video views, both of which put us in the top 100 YouTube channels. Today, Vlog Brothers has over 3.1 million subscribers and over 780 million video views, neither of which puts us in the top 1,000 YouTube creators. Do, do you remember back then when you said to me uh, that this was all a gigantic bubble? Yes. And, uh, and that there was no way that yep. it was going to be able to sustain itself, and yep. the idea that a YouTube channel could regularly get more than 100,000 views for a long period of time was pure fantasy? Ludicrousness, I think is the word that I use. <laughs> I do remember that. Uh, I have believed that we are in a bubble that could burst any day now for 10 years, and I will continue to believe it. <laughs> Until one day you're right. Exactly. <laughs> and I'll look like a genius. <laughs> Good job. But, but the truth, I think, is that it can feel inevitable, all the massive growth that we've seen in online video over the last decade. It can feel like it was always going to happen, like the landscape was always going to look like it looks today. And I just don't believe that. I mean, I too sometimes feel like I'm just riding a tide that's much larger than myself. But I, I really believe that the landscape we see in online video today and the growth that we've seen in the last 10 years hasn't been inevitable. It's been a result of choices made by human beings. Many humans who are in this room today, many who are creators at VidCon, many who are community members, but together we've made online video what it is. And I also believe that the future of online video is not inevitable. Together, we're going to decide what the future looks like. And so we have to be careful and thoughtful about those choices. I, yeah, I really appreciate that way of putting it because it makes this feel very special. It makes it feel like kind of an honor to be in this room and I'm just very grateful that all of you came out to do this. I am a huge fan of online video creators. I know every year when I come to VidCon, I'm gonna see somebody who I've been watching sometimes for years for the first time. And still, this is a little embarrassing, like, get uselessly fan momented and not be able to have a good conversation with them. And maybe I, maybe that's dumb, maybe it's the thing that I should try to be preserving in myself, because like, I love being a fan, but I also, and so are you, a person who still makes videos in our rooms, at our houses, and edits them, and I have to edit a video before Friday somehow. <laughs> that was maybe a, not the best decision to not pre-make a video, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and I also am here kind of as a person who owns an educational media company that's responsible for over half a billion views a year, and is really uh, respected in that space, and, and so I, I love that I get to experience this event from all of those perspectives. But being in this room with people who are responsible for driving this forward, for you know, being the sort of like the rocket fuel in the ship of online video, whether you're in ad tech or marketing, or I have a list, or platforms, agencies, digital licensing, thank you to licensing people, that's becoming a bigger and bigger deal in this space, and also people in the crowdfunding industry, um, alternate monetization strategies of all sorts are very welcome. Uh, and I, yeah, so, so thank you all for being that fuel. Yeah, but it's also more than that in a way, I think like it's easy in business conversations uh, to forget about the fact that online video isn't just a business and that the business decisions that we make don't just reflect some larger culture, but also help create it. Yeah, it is absolutely both a business and a culture, and I think the best business gets done when we think about each other's humanity. Yeah, I completely agree with that. So already today we've had conversations about cryptocurrency and about audience development and the relationship between brands and creators. It kind of doesn't feel like VidCon has started yet and we've already had those conversations. We've also uh, we've got a lot of amazing conversations that are going to be happening at the Industry Track. We're going to be talking to everyone from Ray Kurzweil to Neil Mohan and Charles King. We're going to have platform updates from the likes of all of the biggest people in online video, including our friends at YouTube, but also Twitch and Snapchat, Facebook and Twitter. It's amazing. I think that the VidCon team has put together some of the most interesting and vital days of content that we've ever had at this conference. So thank you so much for being here, and we hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you.